In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to build a simple workflow that captures interesting information online and then sends it through an approval system and then once approved, pushes it into a social scheduling app. You need probably about 20 to 25 minutes to get this set up and working as you want. And you're also going to need accounts with three things. Push by Zapier is going to be the first step. So you're going to need a Zapier account. Secondly, the approval system will be built in Airtable. And thirdly, the social scheduling app is going to be Buffer. So once you've got all these things ready, let's jump in. So to create a really simple process for actually capturing interesting links and then inputting it into some sort of filterable um, and approval system, we're going to actually use Airtable followed by Buffer. And the glue that's going to stitch these two together is going to be Zapier. So you can see here we've got a blank Airtable in front of us. We have called it content capture and approval and we have a table labeled social media content ideas. This can be used by any members of the team, which when they're browsing the web, they can kind of capture a link, capture a title, and then add a caption, which may be useful to share out onto social media channels. So we have four fields, title, URL, added to buffer, and a caption. And we have a couple of views. We have add to buffer and all content captures, which is gonna be our main grid view. We're logged into our Makepad Buffer account. And you can see here we have installed the Push by Zapier Chrome extension. If you haven't got the Push by Zapier Chrome extension, just Google Push by Zapier Chrome extension and you'll either find this page, which lives on Zapier, or you can just Google it from the Chrome extension store, which if you scroll down, you should be able to find it somewhere. Here we go, Chrome Web Store, Zapier Chrome extension, and then add to Chrome. It says it's removed because it's obviously already there. Once you've got it installed, if you hover over it and click it, you'll see this button which says make a push zap. You're going to press this. If you're logged in, it will just open up Zapier for you with a new push selected as the trigger for your zap. Let's give this zap a name, social content capture, the trigger event is going to be a new push with fields because you want to add in a little bit more information along with the title and the URL. Press continue and in this one we're just going to select caption. Test this trigger. Let's navigate to a website we might find interesting. Let's go to news and we'll select this top article here. Okay, so there's an article on no code and low code. So you might want to capture this. It might be worth a share onto some channels. Next, let's scroll over to our Chrome extension. If we can remove all 1500 pop-ups. And if we go over back into Zapier and we press test trigger, going back onto the article and selecting the Chrome extension, we should see now a new push by Zap component called social content capture, the name of our Zap. If we press this, we can add in a caption. Okay, if you press send, this will send the URL, the title of the page, along with our caption, over into our zap go back into zapier press test trigger and we should see the exact thing we we're looking for caption title and url press continue now and we'll go on to the next stage of our zap i'm going to select buffer as our action step and our action event is going to be add to buffer press continue connect your buffer account you might have to sign in if you haven't done it already Press continue. Then we're going to map across the fields. So for our profile, it's going to be our LinkedIn page. Our text is going to be our caption. Drop down the line and then a URL. It's a URL share. And then any other information you want to push with it. Photo URL, we're going to leave blank. Top, you can choose if you want it to get shared next. We're going to choose false for this one so it goes to the back of our content queue. And then now is going to be false also. If you press continue and press test and continue, wait for the information to get sent over to Buffer. It's stuck in a loading screen, but hopefully we're okay. Let's go and go over and check. If you go back into Buffer now, we now see that we have our caption followed by our link share 
loaded to the back of our queue in buffer. If you wanted to actually add a bit of manual control for your content, you could push it into Airtable first and then into Buffer. So here's how we do that. Back into Zapier, let's just refresh this, see if we can get rid of the loading. We'll go new push with fields. We're going to add a step in between, which is going to be Airtable. And then we're going to go create record. Press continue, connect your Airtable account, connect your base, connect your table, and then map across your fields. Okay, press continue and then test and continue. Okay, if you go back over to Airtable now, we should see one result in here. Let's remove these empty records. Okay, so now we have in our all content captures table, a content idea saved by a potential team member. Remember when we created this second view before, we've got one, a grid view saying added to buffer. We've done this by setting add a view and renamed it added to buffer. What we can do is actually filter out the ones without this ticked. So we go to filter where add to buffer is ticked. So now you have a bit of an approval system. So someone can look, maybe your content social media manager or marketing manager can go and say, yeah, this is an interesting article. I'm going to, we want to add this to buffer. So if we press this, it will then get put in this view here. Gives you a bit of a filter. Also, the good thing is with Zapier, you have an Airtable trigger which says new record in view. So step back into Zapier now, and we're going to edit this step, and we're going to actually delete our buffer step. Let's rename this social content capture to Airtable. We'll turn this one on. Then we're going to go back and create another zap. Can you make a zap? I'm going to rename this one Approved Social Content Airtable Links to Buffer. Our first trigger, remember, is going to be Airtable. Trigger event, new record in view. Press continue. Airtable account, Airtable. Press continue. Connect our base. Table is going to be social media content ideas. View going to be added to buffer and then press continue. If we test this trigger you should find a record that we just approved added to buffer equals true tied to URL and caption is populated press continue. Now we go and add buffer again. Action event is added to buffer or add to buffer sorry press continue. Same as we did before connect our buffer account choose our profile our text, our caption with a space, then our URL. Top is false, now is false. Press continue. If you press test and continue, we should see it add another record to the back of our buffer, the same as before. Getting this hanging again. But if, we, if we press over to buffer, you can see that this second result has been added to the back of our content queue there. So this is a really good way. Say if you have multiple people kind of browsing the internet and see interesting content ideas, you can have a simple push by Zapier extension to actually capture something interesting, write a quick caption and then add it into your Airtable. And then your social media manager or marketing manager can go through and say, yep, okay, this is good or change the caption and then add to buffer. And then you can keep a nice stream of content going out for your audience. Hopefully this was useful. Uh, let me know what you use it for. And if you have any questions, reach out um, directly to Makepad and I'd be happy to help. See you soon. Bye.